using the SE Barbarian jig with the UV tails. It's really simple for the tarpon. We had some fish breaking on the surface. We had the moonlight. We could see a school greyhounding moving ahead of us. We talked about leading the school. So you want to get about 10 feet in front of them and try to get across them at a 45 to a 90 degree angle so the lure is going to come across their noses. And when you do that retrieve, you want to keep the rod tip up and use a moderate to fast retrieve. And that's going to keep the jig swimming about 12 to 16 inches deep, right up where those greyhounding fish are kind of focusing. And it's nice and simple, just a slow, just that steady retrieve. Front end of the bait is staying rigid and the tail is just kicking like that. You want to lead those fish so they have some distance to track the bait. They like to follow it 10 to 15 feet before they commit. And that's why the proper lead on the fish is very important. Found a group of fish breaking on the surface. Gave them a nice, rolling in the moonlight. Gave them a nice lead. Look at this, here she goes. Beautiful fish. Beauty. Here in Miami, fishing with Captain Russell, and he is the man year round for tarpon day and night. He'll cater to just about everything from fly to live bait. Came out here telling him all I wanted to do was throw artificial. These new SE Barbarian jigs. See those barbarian jigs is hooking hole. I'm loving that little S seven inch easy tail. She goes. <laughs> that is awesome. Fishing Miami with Captain Russell for nighttime tarpon, throwing artificials. February 1st. There is no other winter fishing like this in the country. Let's go get another one.